get a hoya Then I get a hoya, hoya Hoya Legend! I am literally the most hyped I've ever been for my entire life! Other than the fact to car by Jupiter because it's 165. What the hell is going on? Jesus. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. It's Sunday. What does that mean? It means the market pumped exactly as I said it would. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Piece of biscuit. Uh, I had a cheeky bourbon before I went live. You know what I mean? Keeping it real. Keeping it real with the bourbons. All good. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Man, I've got some exciting stuff to talk about tonight. I feel like I'm super hyped about it as well. Got loads of stuff uh, that I need to talk about with you. Kind of jazzed the camera setting around a little bit. Moved the light there. Did something else here. I mean, who the hell knows? Like, who the hell knows? Uh, yeah, Jupiter is moving. I want to buy it. But I'm not paying I'm not paying 165 now. It's up 10%. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, but anyway, it's fine. It's all good. What's going on, everybody? How wild was last night's live stream? <laughs> it was so wild. It was so wild. The phone streams are absolutely insane. They are literally the most insane thing ever in the world. They are so unbelievably mental. 3,000 views on it last night. Loads of crazy people in. It was just wild. I absolutely love them. I think they're hilarious. So uh, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, we got a ton to talk about tonight. We've got a load to get through as always. Start of the new week. What does it mean? I've got some interesting stuff you need to know before we get into uh, too deep into this week. It's pretty bullish. It's pretty interesting. And equally, when we take a look at some of the technicals, I think I might blow your mind a little bit. I actually think I might blow your mind a little bit. Um, so yeah, so get ready. Sit tight, relax, enjoy the next hour. It is going to be pretty epic, I think. 
You guys might think otherwise, but I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, so yeah, definitely, uh, definitely hit the like button. And if you're brand new to the channel, by the way, at 100% subscribe, you need to be absolutely locked in for this bull market because it's going to be insane. And I'm going to tell you why in tonight's live stream as ever. So with that being said, everybody, uh, let's bring up the old cryptocurrency market cap. Look at it. It's absolutely bullish right now. And uh, Jeff is in the building. What's going on, Jeff? It's good to see you, man. Appreciate you. Let's go to the moon, baby. Uh, good to see you, Holmes. Welcome to you. Legrand, I caught the last 30 seconds of the stream last night. Honestly, Elvis Joe, it was absolutely mental. Mental. I love it, though. I love it. Honestly, I genuinely was like... The dog was like, can I come in your live stream tonight? And I'm like, I'm like, no, dog. No, you can't. Not tonight. Not tonight. You don't come in the floor because it's got... We've got, like, parquet flooring, so the dog gets, like, super weird about coming in the, in the, in the room. But anyway... Anyway, uh, with that being said, yeah, the market looking great and moved in the last kind of couple of hours. So we said, didn't we, the weekend might bring a little bit of retail ahead of what we think will be a pretty big market this week. And, and I certainly, for one, think we're going to see some pretty big moves. And I'll show you a couple of things why I think that. Again, nothing constitutes financial advice and we can't predict the markets. However, we can try and be educated while at the same time have a sentiment of um, where do we think things are going? And ultimately, hopefully, we get to the kind of same result. And I think we're locked in. Um, I've had... I think there's five people that are in for the 10K to 100K challenge, which is pretty exciting. So that's all good. That looks like we're going to get locked in Friday and then we'll be market dependent uh, looking to get those coins. So remember, if you haven't already filled in the form uh, to be uh, a contributor to a degree, uh, you know, give your view on anything that you think is worthwhile and ultimately think about... Um, <clears throat> Any coins that you definitely think we should be looking at, um, I think it's worthwhile. I am just going to come out and disclose something, okay? I feel like I need to disclose this. Um, I feel like I need to disclose it. First of all, hit the like button before I disclose this, but I do have something I need to disclose right now on this. Um, yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> one second. One second. There's the form. If you want to fill the form in, again, chuck your responses in. Let's see what it does. So um, I have gone into, uh, I am a private investor into two projects now. I've done it. I've done it. I thought, why the hell not? We'll see what happens. You know, if we lose it all, then it's fine. If not, it could turn out to be pretty ridiculous. Also, um, I may have a link that you guys get something a little bit cheaper, but we'll see. But yeah, I've gone into two projects as a private investor. That's the first time I've actually got into a project as a private investor. I'm like dead excited about it. Like you can tell, like I'm super, super excited about it. So I hope it all works out. We may talk a little bit about it at some point, not tonight, but at some point we'll kind of talk a little bit about what that is, why I've done it. And ultimately I'm hoping that it's going to net benefit some really good returns. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes on. And I do like the projects, by the way, they seem pretty cool in terms of what we're doing. So Getting into what's going on with the market, let's do it. Uh, 71,100 on BTC, that's up 1.75% on the day. Remember, in a weekend, so you're naturally going to see volume cool off a little bit. So, you know, we see there, look, $63 billion worth of volume, down about 10% on yesterday. So, you know, we'll kind of see how that all plays out. But a very, very strong move up to 71,000. So that's pretty bullish, if you ask me. Ethereum holding 36. Again, that's a solid move on Ethereum, 3.8%. Very good move. Again, moved with volume moved with some real conviction. What does that tell us? Tells us that people are buying. And then the rest of the market, BNB gets a little bit of a move. Solana Bricks, 200. Shout out to Solana, which is why we're seeing Jupiter pump out of its mind, which is just literally... I, I'm, I am... I am fighting with FOMO like you wouldn't believe right now. I'm literally convincing myself that it's fine to pay 165. If I'd have just bought in when I thought about buying in, it was 122 and I didn't. And, I, and I'm now like in this world where I'm like, oh my God, just pay 165 and buy in. But I kind of, I'm getting also into a world where I'm a bit like, ah, do you know what? Do you know what? Whatever. The halving will come. The markets will push down. And that might be my opportunity to get in. I guess the thing with Jupiter, and if you haven't seen my video, go and check it out. You can stake it. You can, you can, um, you can get a net benefit from uh, being as part of the platform, interacting with all those kind of launches and all the rest of it. So, so yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Other news, 22 days. Holy shit. This is getting close. 22 days till we get the Bitcoin halving. So worst case, I mean, I've only got to wait 22 days for the market to kind of push down. So we'll see. But yeah, it feels like it is getting very, very close. Um, so we're going back to 4 p.m. Yeah, our clocks all went back. Do you know what time I was up to last night? 
10 past four in the morning. I end up going to bed this morning. Bad news. Bad news. I just have so much to do at the minute. I don't have enough time. I could do with a 28 hour day right now. But anyway, let's continue. Um, so yeah, XRP with a little bit of a move. Dogecoin killing the game right now. Dogecoin absolutely sending it. The Dogecoin millionaire is officially back to being a millionaire. So he's all gravy, baby. Avalanche gets a nice little move. Shiba Inu's moving as well. Chainlink, nice move at point two. ICP gets a solid move as well. The rest of the market is the rest of the market. I'm not going to mess around looking at too much of it. Pepe breaks into the top 40. Make a token. Look at this. Oh, what's that you say, 2-bit? It was one of your picks for 2024. I know it was one of my picks for 2024. And look at it. It's already up nearly $1,200. I mean, crazy. Imagine if you bought into that. You'd have been absolutely loving life right now. Anyway, you get my point. You get my point on it. Um, so, yeah, the market's looking great, by the way. The market really is looking good news. Look at Jupiter, 166. Get the out of here why is this not pulling back why is it not pulling back why is it up 40 percent? why is it continuing to push and it needs to just it just needs to cool off and calm down that's my view anyway uh need to buy a bar in london let's do it let's do it man i'm, I'm all for it i'm all for it uh, bsv's up a little bit oh, don't know what it is but it's up 45 percent. that's a pretty good move rest of the market nothing too crazy going on i don't know if anyone's into any of these like absolute senders right now pendle's looking pretty good we talked about that a while back actually uh, Pendle looks pretty good. Jasmine clinging on for dear life into the top 100. See, I told you, don't sleep on Qcoin token. Much more upside, I think, coming for that one as well, given their revenue streams coming into the market. So, yeah, pretty interesting. I'm going to fly through the market. That's kind of where we get to in the overall market. I'm more intrigued and more interested in what I want to show you in terms of uh, some of the reports and equally some of the uh, indicators we've got. Fear and greed at 80. Good news. We finally pulled back a little bit. Not the end of the world. So, yeah, my view on there. We're going back to 4 p.m. Yeah, we said that, didn't we? Interesting. The halving is looking at being my son's birthday. Man, that'd be crazy. Uh, clocks go forward tonight. No, clocks have already gone forward, Craig. They've already gone forward, bro. <laughs> Good that you're on the right time. <laughs> yeah, they've already gone forward. <laughs> I think the market already has pushed down with about 18% dip a few weeks ago. Bull run is about to start. Other bull runs didn't dip after halving. Uh, so this one may not dip either. True, this one may be very, very different. Very, very different. Uh, Jupiter feeling the two-bit pump. You know it, baby. It just needs to not, though, because I want to buy some. Anyway. Anyway, right. Let's get into some technicals, and I wanted to show you this, uh, which I think is very interesting when you start to look at some of this. So we're on the uh, we're on the daily chart here. Let me just kind of just minimize a couple of these things. RSI and the uh, MACD are just getting a little bit uh, a little bit out of their, out of hands. Come on, MACD, hold on a minute. Uh, how do I? Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Can I do that and bring the MACD back? Yes, I can. Right. Cool. Um, that's what I wanted to do. Right. So, yeah. So, here's a pretty interesting chart right now. Um, this line here, what I've drawn on, is a very interesting line and gives us a bit of an indication of where our new support is. Remember, when you talk about bull markets and you talk about how markets can push, you have to find levels of support. And we can see that all the way up here on the daily chart. Again, my point here. So you can see it here where we built the support level around this 50,000 mark. Then we got the push and we haven't gone back to retest it. We see that the 50-day simple move and average does come through that point as well. And then ultimately gives us that support. Once again, we built the support here around 44,000 and then pushed to the upside again. So you have to build support at these levels to then afford yourself to move to the next range. Now, interestingly enough, if you take this line here that I drew, so this is just a uh, basic trend line all the way across, you'll see that that's sitting at 60 thousand between between sixty thousand five hundred and sixty thousand eight hundred feels like a new support so a new higher range at the support line of sixty thousand why do i say that we've tested it nearly 10 times as support and all the times other than one break we've used it as support to bounce off and push now add into that when you do a Fibonacci extension off the move to the upside and the latest pullback, what do we see? Well, we see that the price consolidates on the 236 Fibonacci with a potential push up to 74,200 at the 0.382. Now, remember, the golden Fibonacci level at 1.61a is at 117,000. This has to be our potential move. But if you think of the 61a, the 61a is a very, very big, noticeable Fibonacci retracement level. But look at that. The 61a takes us to 82,617. Interestingly, here on the Fibonacci extension, we could absolutely see that. We've got a couple of points to go through, but it is playing out pretty much perfectly. Look at the 382, look at it as a bounce off, likewise the 236 as a support level. So here we go. I'm going to leave this Fibonacci on there. I think it's going to be interesting, but this is where I feel 
the market's programmed into. I think we're going to 82,000. Whether it happens this week, I don't know. I think it's all going to depend on inflows. But what's also interesting is the balance of Bitcoin is not coming back. We're at 1.77. It's insane, right? Okay, it generally is insane. We're down about 80,000 Bitcoin. We are seeing a slight little bit of selling pressure coming in. But we do know right now that we are losing Bitcoin out of extensions, out of extensions, out of exchanges. It's important to reference. Now, combine that with this. So ETF, BTC holdings over time, going back from Jan 10th all the way up to March 28th, excluding GPTC. I'm going to show you that in a minute, which is very interesting. What you can see there is iBit, the great scale one, is accumulating more and more and more every single day. This is an important point. Why? Because the ETFs continue to flow money in. It's showing no signs of stopping. In fact, it's actually showing signs of increasing in buying pressure. This is important as we'll continue to see this. Now, combine that Combine that with a, another little uh, little cheeky chart, which I thought was very interesting, although I can't find it uh, because I'm an absolute giant chopper, which is this one. Now, this again, and we'll, we'll get back to the technicals in just a minute. I just want to show you. But these are ultimately what we've got one year in terms of whale holding. So these are excluding exchanges and mining pools. These are important. And what you can see is... We touched on this before. We have looked at this graph before. All-time highs, 2017, you see whales hold before they dump. That's generally how the markets work. Likewise, all-time highs, 2021, we see the whales hold, then they dump on the back of the top. What do we see right now? Here we are, accumulation in March. We are seeing whales accumulating. We are seeing more whales coming to the market. We're seeing exchanges, excuse me, we're seeing people buying from exchanges to really stack it up. And we are seeing a parabolic move. There is no sign of a leveling off. What it it's not going to do, just to be absolutely clear, is pump all the way to insanity and then dump straight away. It's simply not how the markets operate. So some very bullish moves aligned to some of the stuff we're seeing here. Could be pretty interesting. Could be pretty interesting. I'm not surprised, Hunter. I'm going to take a look at that chart, that chart when we get to the DeFi section, but I'm not surprised. Your investment strategy today was the worst strategy I've ever heard in my entire life. Although I would say to you is, the minute you sent me, I went on it and I was like, oh my God, I need to like buy into this. And the, the time I was fumbling to get some BNB, they'd already dumped and I'm like, yep, I'm, I'm absolutely not getting into this piece of shit. <laughs> absolutely insane. But yeah, shout out to you, brother. I appreciate it. We're definitely not going to do... <laughs> We're definitely not going to do the 10K to 100K challenge like that. Jesus, 11 pounds for a pint. Where's that? Oh my God, don't, don't buy one. I don't buy one. Uh, I don't think I'd ever go. I don't think I'd ever go out. I don't think I'd ever go out drinking. What? Uh, ah, man, 82K. Imagine thinking that end of last year. I mean, imagine thinking that the 15,400 when uh, FTX was absolutely dumped out of its mind. Kind of crazy to think about. But yeah, that's my view of where BTC is going. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. The rest of the market, look, when I, I kind of feel like, and I don't know about you guys, I'm, I'm happy to kind of run through this, but... I am going to streamline the show a little bit. We're going to try and keep it a little bit punchier. Um, you'll notice my thumbnails. I've kind of jazzed my thumbnails up a little bit. I'm, I'm been doing some research, been kind of, you know, working hard today to try and bring some things. So I'm not going to go through everything. We'll do it if people want to look at specific coins. I think it's worthwhile doing that rather than going, Link, Link is at 1%. Chili's is up 2 No one cares, right? Bitcoin's the main one we talk about. That's ultimately what's going to drive it. And then as we do the DeFi questions bit at the end, then we'll start attack. We'll, we'll talk through any kind of specifics that come down or anything that is worthwhile. Look, at like I said, Jupiter going out of its mind. It's going to break all-time highs pretty soon, which is just stressing me out like you wouldn't believe. But anyway, it's fine. Everything is pointing that it's oversold, look, uh, overbought on RSI. Hopefully, we start to see this come back. But yeah, anyway, we'll see. We'll see. 50 likes, 122 watching. Yeah, hit the like button, everybody. Appreciate you guys for sure. If you could hit the like button, that would be fantastic. Now, let's continue in just taking a look at all the important things when it does come to, uh, when it does come to BTC, for example. B Coin liquidations. Again, an interesting thing to keep an eye on. Why? The market feels like it is, once again, bearish. So we see accumulated long liquidations are down here. So we definitely see more to the downside than we do to the upside. People of higher leverage over 100x believing the market is going to push down. What I know and what I've learned is never question the market. The market will always come and bite you in the ass. It's the same to be said when you take profits. If you don't take the market, will take it for you. Again, though, we are seeing that the market feels like it's going to be very Selmo. Boom in the house. Going on, brother. Welcome to you. 
So the market is definitely bearish right now. We think that the market may go down. Or certainly people of leverage trading believes the market is going to go down. By the way, if you are an experienced leverage trader, do check out some of the links in the description. Likewise, top of the chat box, there is a link over there for Mexi and also for Margex. You can trade over there up to $20,000 worth of bonuses across the two. Again, check them out up to 100x leverage on both platforms. If you're interested and an experienced trader, definitely go and check those two links out. So again, continuing with what we were talking about, when you look at leverage, what have we got? Now, we did see, we did see... The move to the upside to sap some of this this this, uh, this leverage that we have here. So these are short liquidation points that we got. We talked a little bit about this on Friday when we were live, saying that we expect to push up, grab some of this liquid liquidity at the high time frames. Now, naturally, you would say, well, okay, now we'll probably flip reverse it, um, like Missy Elliott does, and come down. We will come down to grab this liquidity here. But the reality is, if you think about this as a three day time scale, it's seventy million. It's nothing. It's nothing. Right now, there's probably a sentiment that says it's worth going a little bit higher. It's worth testing some of these higher highs. In my opinion, market sentiment, it's worth testing 74,000. This would be the 0.382 Fibonacci. We'll see if it plays out like that. But again, given us a view of where liquidation sit, it could come down. And I know people will say it too, but you can't just have both. But that's the point, isn't it? The market is bearish right now to a degree. Leverage and futures traders are bearish. The market, in my view, the spot markets, they aren't bearish. They're definitely in a world where I think we're going to see some further move to the upside. That's just my view, by the way. Don't go and put your house on everything. Don't go and put your house on long. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Now, don't forget, we also see a change in the CME, which is important. CME, or the Bitcoin Chicago Mercantile Exchange, gives us an indication of kind of what's going on. And more importantly, where we see some of these leveraged funds. So you see, 967, lots of people believe that the market's going to go short because they are absolutely out of their mind. Equally, we see a massive rise in the CME futures open interest. What does this mean? It means people are looking to grab positions in Bitcoin. Interesting. So lots of interesting things to look at. I told you it was definitely going to be hot off the press and equally exciting to look at so that's overall the market sentiment that's where we sit right now that is the uh like i said that is where we kind of get i am going to leave the fibonacci on there because i think it's going to be pretty interesting as it all plays out i probably need to just can i duplicate this uh no so i probably just need to put another btc oh, actually it's a matter actually it's fine i can leave that on there i can leave that on there can i like hide this uh is there a way of hiding it anyone does anyone know Hide. Oh, look at that. Boom. Hey. I don't know where I've hidden it, though. Uh, Fitbabe, what's going on? Welcome to you. How, just in one word in the chat, Fitbabe, how do you define Hunter's trading strategy today? Let me know. Let me know. Drop a, drop a comment in the chat. Let me know what you think. Uh, Top Jeff Crypto says, I was late as expected. It's all good, Edward. Good to see you, man. Welcome to you. Two bit. See what I was talking about with Hunter? Worst shittest trade ever. <laughs> Don't trust the guy. He's not going to be having the... Uh, he doesn't have the keys to the crypto. I will. I will. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, don't worry about it. Chaka, my man. What's going on, brother? Welcome to you. I see the Neko chart. Looking spicy, my man. Love it. Love to see it. Love to see it, brother. Chris Bendix says 37 is the answer. Always. It's always 37. Meme coin follow Shibonacci levels. <laughs> oh, dear me. How are you going to hide it now? I have absolutely no idea. I genuinely have no idea. Um... Yeah. How do I unhide it? Do you think, is it going to be here somewhere? Object theme, trade, no. No, don't know. I guess I can do this and do, but that doesn't make any sense. It's fine. It's fine. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, da, ba. She's already said, Ari. <laughs> one emoji. <laughs> Ugo, what's going on, brother? Welcome to you, my man. Appreciate you, buddy. As always, good to have you here. Good to have everybody here. Don't forget... If you are bullish on cryptocurrency, you are enjoying the content, you want to be part of the family, do hit the like button. And if you're considering joining a fantastic community, keeping you up to date with everything going on in this market, then for sure, hit that subscribe button. Uh, Sixer says, waiting for the launch of the P. Diddy coin. Yeah, it's probably already there. I'd be I'd be definitely surprised if it's not. Shoesmith's in the building. What's going on, Shoesmith? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Always good to have you here as well. Top left-hand corner, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hi all, what's going on? A mercy received. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Jasmine could come on to the Binance Innovation Zone this week. That along with new tax rules in Japan starting today could be a very big week for Jasmine. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, new committee rules. You have to donate two bit, 1,000 an entry to be part of the cult. <laughs> it's probably not a bad shout in fairness. And then we're going to go all in on Brett, the coin on base. So why the heck not? Anyway, 
We'll keep an eye on the markets. We'll keep an eye on dupe. We're looking to grab a position in there. It's coming down. That's it. Dump the markets, baby. Dump it. Whiff is pretty interesting as well. That's going to be an insane project in the upcoming bull market. But with that being said, everybody, it is that time. Unless your name's Caroline. <laughs> To, uh, to race some marbles. Again, if you're brand new to the channel, do consider subscribing. We do things a little bit different here. We just generally relax. We chill out. We take our time. We get through the markets. We have a breather. Grab a drink. Grab yourself a snack. Maybe take a bob and biscuit on. And then we're bang back into the headlines from today. So again, worthwhile uh, sticking around. Hit the like button. All of that good stuff. We're here six days a week. 4 p.m. Eastern. Eee, we're back to normal. So do it if you want to do it. I'm not really sure why I'm going with this. Edward Vincent, hashtag marbles. Let's go. I know where you are. I know where you are. Nemo's here as well. What's going on, Nemo? Good to see you, man. Welcome to you. Uh, the times align. The stars are in our favor forever. Always. Anyway, right. 47 people. Feels like there's more people in the chat. Some people not speaking. Some people stay quiet. Some people are staying quiet, but it's fine. Hey, you guys can stay quiet. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No NFTs tonight, which is great news. Uh, Tuba, did you buy Spellcoin? I did not buy Spellcoin. No, I. Uh, if I'm honest, I actually am looking to. Uh, so I'm I'm looking to grab a position in Jupiter. That's what I'm trying to do right now. But I probably I'm going to consolidate a couple of my coins. I'm waiting for things like Boom to make a bit of a move. Um, Arbitrum, I I probably will move out of that position once that's gained a little bit more because I'll be up on that. And remember, you've got to be quite liquid with your assets, especially in this market. Things can move very rapidly. Don't get tied into a particular project. Don't get tied in uh, to not making the money. Remember, bull runs, four years. That's how long it takes. Don't sleep on the bull run. It's important. It is important. Anyway. Right. XRPJ looking good. Gregor as well. Welcome to you. Mark Sintic says, just hit the like. Let's get it, Mark Sintic. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Mr. Shaman. What's going on, Shaman? Two bit. And Nico's looking good right now. Yeah, I saw it was absolutely sending, by the way. I saw uh, I saw Believes is like three or four update videos that he's done. Just saying, Jamie. You know I just saying. <laughs> I'm kidding. I listen and learn. Let's go, B. Good to see you. Welcome to you. XLM is heating up. Yeah, I don't doubt it isn't. Doug says, Sorazor. XOR Pokeswap will be massive. I hope so. Hope so. Hashtag Marvel. See Fitbeb knows. Fitbeb knows. Ugo, Mr. T. Part of the Alien Form team. Go check that AMA out if you haven't already. I've got some content coming out about those as well. If you were in Shibnobi, you are going to want to see that video. Trust me, it is epic. Epic. Coming up very soon. Anyway, Ugo, Mr. T, Kevin, Nez, Uno, Joyce, Ali G, Holmes, Jaluka, and Fitbeb rounding out your top 10. Congratulations to you guys. Right. Let's get into the news headlines. Let's see what's going on and see where we are. So Solana continues to saw how I go. Now, this is kind of crazy. Solana breaking $200 today. But equally, what we've seen is humongous volume going into the Solana ecosystem. The other news we have is it hasn't broken for ages. So again, so the time of writing, Solana has been up 6.25198, 24 hours. Interesting though, trading above the 100 day moving average on the four hour, we could even see a break of $210. So look, the reality is Solana is looking good right now. The Solana is looking very good actually. Um, and it continues to push higher, which is driving the sentiment around dupe and around when and a couple of the other coins over on that Solana ecosystem. So very, very good news. Now the debate the debate is how high it can go. That's the question. It's forming a very similar pattern, very similar pattern to the previous bull runs for Ethereum, which again is pretty interesting. So on the daily chart here, it's probably better if we do the weekly chart, actually. When you start to look at the Ethereum chart, and we can go all the way back to literally the dawn of time, you know what I mean, with the Ethereum chart. And you can do the same on the Solana chart, and they seem to be following a very similar pattern. So we get that initial rise up on the Ethereum chart. Down here, look, we get this nice little pump to start with. Consolidation start to move. Solana doing very, very similar stuff. There's the pump, this consolidation. So lots of people are in a world where Solana is following a similar pattern to what we got with Ethereum. So again, if you are not super bullish on, Ethereum, on Solana, 
it's kind of hard not to be. And I think as long as the network stays up, they should be pretty good in fairness. And as long as the meme narrative continues, I mean, you only have to look at what's happening with Whiff, for example. It's continuing to push very, very hard indeed. So it does give us a sentiment of where it's going. And we will obviously continue to look at what's going on with Solana. But, you know, in terms of where this is, 210, the next milestone, keep your eye out for that. It could be pretty interesting. Likewise, though, if we were to get a market correction, don't be surprised if you see Solana come down. 162, though, if you were looking to try and snipe a little bit at a cheaper price, I'd definitely be having buy orders set around 162. That could be pretty interesting for sure. Um, Bitcoin tapping into an $84 trillion market. That's right. $84 trillion market adoption now overwhelming. Billionaire Mike Novogratz giving his view on exactly why Bitcoin is about to explode. It says here, Galaxy Digital Chief, uh, Chief Executive Mike Novogratz believes Bitcoin now has access to an $84 trillion market following the approval of the BTC spot market exchange traded funds. Ultimately, and he quotes, Right now, adoption is way overwhelming because it was just tapped into. So here is the numbers. 84 trillion of wealth owned by US baby boomers. Baby boomers are broadly 60 to 80 year olds. People at the end of where they sit, what are they going to be doing? They're going to be looking to move some of that money, which is going to be pretty And he says, and so early, big adoptions. A lot of the smaller platform regional brokers have been buying, but a lot of the big platforms like Morgan Stanley, they are still not selling they are going to be prepared. You can buy it on the platform or the salesmen aren't selling. So Mike Novogratz has gone incredibly bullish on Bitcoin. An $84 trillion market with Wall Street could be coming soon. The floodgates of cryptocurrency may well be open and may well be starting to absolutely motor. So keep an eye on that one for sure. It's going to be crazy. This is the point. This is kind of where I will bring it all back in just a minute. But yeah, Bitcoin, man, looking absolutely spicy as ever. Now, interestingly enough, under the radar meme coins exploded 5,800% in a month. Cusp of an epic sprint, says the trader. Ali Martinez, not Juan Martinez, which is classy crypto, but ultimately Ali Martinez here, given his view on Barrett and ultimately the bigger meme coin plays it says here the meme coin craze might seem to be cooling off but i believe it's just warming up brett on the base is one of those that is gearing up for an epic sprint but before brett might dip to the 0 0.308 a support setting the stage for a bullish breakout to the 0 0.8 now a lot of people are predicting base has been the next big thing it's dead easy to go and trade over it you can just install the network onto your metamask and go over to the actual base site and you can just bridge uh, ethereum over and then you know it's an ethereum layer 2 chain but we are seeing a pretty hyped rally on meme coins. What I would say at the minute, when it comes to the base network though, is there is a real wave of volume. Volume comes in and then it disappears. Volume comes in, then it disappears. So you're seeing this real wave pattern form in terms of just coins that are launching. It's even more difficult to really get something established over on the base network. But the point here is that it is an absolute growing ecosystem. It absolutely is. Broke a billion dollars in TVL, which is very, very interesting as that continues to grow. Bear in mind, Solana is at something like 5 billion. Base could be one of those that, you know, if you sleep on it, you might, unfortunately, get owned. But Brett looking like it might break out. It does do some good work today, in fairness. Keep your eye on that. And finally, Dogecoin. I mean, it's hard not to get bullish on Dogecoin. I don't own any complete disclosure. I do not own any Dogecoin. I have owned, I have owned Dogecoin, uh, but I don't in the minute. But Dogecoin whales fill the bags as the price rallies. The view is Elon's going to put it onto Twitter. Whether it is or not is a different matter. But according to the sentiment chart shared by Ali Martinez, which is here, you can see social media wallet whales holding between 10 million and 100 million tokens have consistently been increasing their holdings since March 15th. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. You know, considering what... Um, Considering kind of the noise that has been against Dogecoin and all the kind of haters on Dogecoin, it's kind of crazy that it is absolutely sending right now. But yeah, it's kind of interesting... It's, it's just interesting, isn't it? Doug, what's going on? Says DXN, easy 100x in the current price. Interesting. Crypto Bandito, good to see you, man. Welcome to you. George! I see Oh, God, we all love you all. Let's get it, baby. Good to see you, man. Welcome to you. As always, Pugamol says, good looking Sunday chart rally. Yeah, you know it is. You know it is. Eating Easter dinner, nice. Yeah, I, did, had, I went to my mum and dad's earlier on. Dead nice. Don't own Dogecoin. Anything Elon own rugs. <laughs> Maybe. Josh Hills says, two bit. Oh, my God. I had an out-of-this-world thought about XRP and Bitcoin. 
Man, this sounds exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. Happy Easter for those who celebrate. Yeah, I um, I'm, but, but my, obviously you guys know now my body is a complete temple. Uh, so I had a bob and biscuit rather than an Easter egg. So there we go. Anyway, what's coming next for Doge? Look at this chart shared by Martinez showed the increase in whale accumulation largely corresponded with an increase of the price. Whales are buying. Whales are hedging their bets on X and the culture that is meme coins and how that all plays out. So keep an eye on that. Dogecoin. It's looking pretty bullish. Uh, my phone is so dead. It's all good, Justin. Don't worry about it. The chart is going downhill. Whereas Caroline on stockings two bit. No idea. You were meant to send me a picture and you still haven't. Home to right fit baby is a new trend here. <laughs> Absolutely. Two bit. You need to let your soul. G L O. I don't know what that is. We'll do the DeFi section in about 10 minutes. So stick around. We can take a look at your chart. We can take a look at your chart for sure. Left out in some here again. Joyce, let's go. Been a minute. Good to see you, Joyce. If anyone needs me, I'll be drinking in my garage. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Has Fitbib stolen Hunter's seat in the community portfolio? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a tough old life, Hunter, sometimes, isn't it? It's a tough old life. But hey, don't worry about it. All my eggs are full of pump. Okay. Slightly weird. Slightly weird. Let's bring the chart back up. Let's just keep an eye on what's going on in the BTC chart. Just breaking back underneath. Breaking back underneath the 71k mark. Look at that. Interesting thing. Look at that retest on the weekly chart. Bullish, baby. Bullish. There we go. BTC is looking grand. I've had two drinks. I'm getting my jellies. Let's go. Pepe 100 per lex. 100x. Believe it. Chiro, I did a video yesterday talking about Pepe. I think, um, yeah, I think it's got some more mileage to go. Yeah, I think that whole meme coin narrative has. If I'm dead honest, look at Pepe. 6.5% on the day. Doing something very similar. I think if we get a move on BTC, expect Pepe to do the same. Bones up 6.9% as well. It's got some more mileage, I think. Whiff is absolutely out of its mind. Absolutely out of its mind just doing whatever Whiff does. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think about, isn't it, to be honest. Bongs up at 2.8. Snack, the only one. Do we even care about Snack? Can I take Snack out of here? No one cares about Snack, do they? No one cares about Uniswap. Uh, do people care about ICP? Maybe they do. Um... Uh, just kind of think we should take some out that we don't care about. Uh, Luna, no one cares about. I think the rest are fine. To be fit, babe, just came to the garage, gave me a shot and said, I'm the new trend. They voted you out and now I'm, now I'm in. Have a drink, sweetie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Snack will be big too, bit. Yeah, me. I'm not there saying it won't be. I'm not saying it won't be. But right now, do we, I mean, I'll keep it on if you, if you guys want. If you guys want. Doug says, happy Easter, brother. Happy Easter to you, my man. Happy Easter to you. Uh, Phantom has been on the dip, starting to heat up. Interesting. Yeah, Phantom. Um, I haven't really looked at Phantom for a while. Where is it? There we are. Look, yeah, 5%. Under a dollar. Pretty good. Pretty good. Interesting. Fetch AI pullback as well. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? So, I think you missed my theory. Look up the chat, bud. Okay, sorry, Josh. Oh, here we are. Bitcoin can be used for goods buying payments. Imagine, just imagine. A safe haven for Bitcoin that might merge with XRP for the security where Satoshi uh, and gives the go-ahead. Maybe. Maybe. I think, um, yeah, I think it's interesting with XRP, isn't it? It is interesting. I think we could get something this week. I was talking to Roshin about this earlier on. I think something could be coming in the pipeline. Now, it's interesting when you see some of the comments on some of my videos because they're like, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. XRP, it's a scam. Come on, really? Uh, we have Fitbird now. The group has strengthened. Yeah, 100%. Don't forget, like, like Fairground says, hit the like button, baby. Do me a favor, 116 people. Remember, the more likes, the higher the price of Bitcoin goes. I don't make the rules up. I just enforce them. So please, if you could, hit the like button. And if you're brand new to the channel, by the way, you're enjoying the content, you're enjoying the community, please hit the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell and make sure you click all so that you don't miss a beat in terms of live streams or video updates. Check it out. Right. Uh, in line with Cadbury's worldwide hide, I put a chocolate Easter egg in a place the wife loves. Again, I don't know where to go with that statement. I'm honest. People are selling XRP when it's getting close. True. 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 Uh, had FET on Coinbase, but trade over BTC. They, they actually gave it away for free, I think, on Coinbase quite a while back. Thanks, Ovidio. People selling XRP will be mad real soon. Yeah. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. 
This market's looking great, by the way, isn't it? Market's looking very good for a Sunday night push. How's Jupiter doing? Probably about 15% up on the day. Oh, look at that 10% class. Love it. Love it. 10 at down three. No dramas. Do you know what I mean? No dramas. Tim, those who sell in have melted faces. Yeah, they're quite possible. Yeah. Is there anything like having a Mars bar party? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Are we there? Are we there? I mean, I'm more concerned I know what it is, but I mean, come on, really? It's all about Toffee Crisp. What's everyone's thoughts on Book of Memes? I think it's got some more movement to come yet. Uh, and I also think it's very centralized, so I think they'll move it when they want to move it. That's my view. That's my view. Uh, but you never know, dear. I mean, that's the crazy thing in this space. You never quite know. Unfortunately, we aren't the leaders of the pack. We're just here to try and win our own little corner of the world. So, you know, look, it's important to do. It's like a diddy party. That's be weird, doesn't it? Not heard that term, Mars Pi, for about 25 years. Okay, let's move on, right? Let's move on. Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, not Mars Bars. You know what I mean? I'll end up going and buying one. Don't ask, OBJ. Don't ask. You do not want to know the answers. All right. You don't want to know the answers. Anyway, with that being said, it is time. Let's get race number two because I want to get into DeFi and see everything that is going on over here as well. So again, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and get your coins and charts ready. We'll take a look at some of them in just a minute. Uh, I don't know if I would Google it. If I'm honest, OBJ, I'm not sure I would. I guess XRP can be moved when they want to move it. Right. Yeah, true. 100%. 100%. It'll move. I think the court case is the thing that's just sitting over at the top. So, uh, how many people here own Bitcoin? Just curious. I technically own Bitcoin, but I don't. I have Bitcoin. It's in the kids' wallets. So, I, I personally, right now, in what I deem as my wallets, I do not have any Bitcoin because the reality is, and I talked about this before, even if Bitcoin goes to 200K, it's a 3X. I said Jupiter goes to $20. It's like a 15X, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So, why would you be in? Bitcoin, I, I think, I think having some Bitcoin in a, you know, for the very long run is fine. But yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not in a world where I'm like desperate to get into it just at the minute. So anyway, right, fifty four people want to change the world one track at a time. Sit back, relax. Fifty four of you are about to send it down the track. Definitely more of those in the chat. No one's interested. No one interested. Anyway. It's all good. Doug says, love your channel too, but interaction with the live feed is amazing. Many channels never interact with their live chat. Doug, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I know we appreciate you here as well. T Fuel is going mad. That rings a bell for some reason. Pokemon sounds like something from school. Uh, Google, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Don't Google anything Pokemon tells you. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Anyway, again, if you guys could hit the like button, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you are brand new around here, you may be thinking, why does he keep racing these marbles? Again, we're having a breather. It's like a transition. We're then going to go into the DeFi section. Also, don't forget, any donations that come into the channel, we do take the tax out because you pay your tax man. It's important. They pay for roads and, fat and all, all hospitals and all that kind of stuff. YouTube takes a little bit of a fee and then boom, we give it all back. So anyone who's brand new, by the way, over $12,000 be given away on this channel. Go and find me another channel that cares about that. We're just about to launch our $10,000 to $100,000 challenge as well. That's coming pretty soon in which the community has, you know, a voice in that. And it's going to be dead exciting. I cannot wait. Uh, it's going to be super cool as well. So yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button. Be part of the best community in the world for this bull market. Don't forget, we also mine cryptocurrency on this channel. We got it all, baby. We got it all. We should be at like 300,000 subscribers. I don't know why people watch Austin Hilton and not me. Don't get it. I'm kidding. Doug, if you panicked, I hate you. I hate you, Legrand. There we go. Mark Sintic, Paul, Josh, Doug. Doug, get in fourth. Get it, Doug. Joyce and then some other people. I didn't see it in time. So there we go. Right. Let's do DeFi. I don't know what that is, by the way, but all I know is I like DeFi. I like it, baby. Right. Let's get into it. If you want to have a look at some charts, drop it in the chat. Remember, donations always get put on the screen. Uh, I will try and get to as many as we possibly can as we go through. But starting with the ones that are already on here, Unodex uh, could do with some volume. That's the honest answer. It's still doing okay, but could definitely do with some volume on the token. The, the actual product is doing pretty well. So the actual volume running through their decks is uh, pretty good. But yeah, volume on the chart uh, would be good news. But Unodex down about 9%. Compet Homes. 
Down I got 1.94, nothing too crazy with that. PNG is still looking bullish. Can't believe that bounced back up, Tim, as well. I definitely was thinking about getting into this. Look at this low from 35. Boom, bounced nicely up on the daily here. Alien form, get ready to check out that video. It's going to be coming out pretty soon. Lots of people don't understand what's going on with this project. And it's pretty exciting, not going to lie. Don't forget, the 2nd of April, two days time, the university does open in which you are going to be able to use the Trade Probe 2 for free for two whole weeks. Definitely check that out. I know some of you are already part of the Alien Form community. If you were in Shibnobi, Shinja V2, you may well have Alien Form tokens. Check it out. It's going to be exciting. Also, don't forget, there is going to be a revenue stream attached to that Trade Probe 2. You don't want to check it out. It's going to be $50 a month, or you can get in for $500 a year. Going to be exciting. Definitely keep an eye out. I've got some content coming out soon, but highly recommend checking them out on the BSC network and on the Ethereum network. Again, I just think a lot of people don't know about this, and I'm, and I'm not speaking out of turn here. Genuinely, I think people will have looked it in their wallets and gone, what the hell is that? That's just some sort of scam coin. Absolutely not the case. Alien form. Check them out. Pretty exciting stuff. Right. SHX. Tim, it's finally coming back. Let's go, SHX. Finally coming back. Remember, DCAing. DCAing is the superpower of legends. If you don't DCA into projects that you truly believe in, you are out of your mind. I'm going to show you a couple of examples where DCAing was absolutely the right thing. It was almost criminal. If you didn't DCA in, it's important. So yeah, SHX looking pretty good. That's looking like it might break back into the nines. Boom is up as well. I still think this is undervalued. I still think it's starting to print an uptrend when it comes to Boom. So I think we could be in for a pretty interesting run all in all. Uh, Alien Form, we took a look at in a minute. Pepe is up about 5.7. Cooler is coming back. Who would have thought that cool cat? Has it got the legs? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see if it's got the legs. And then Chain Swap again. I took profits on chain swap when we were up here and then it dumped its ass off. And I was like, man, I can't miss this again. So I bought back in. I, it was a little bit more expensive for this. I think I bought back in about the sevens here, something like that. And uh, yeah, this is going to break a dollar. And sorry, it's going to break 10 cents and it's going to absolutely send. So yeah, look at this. I'm already up again on this. Took a very, very nice profit on this play. Again, if you got in, you're watching the channel, you'd have got in here somewhere. Nine cents. Boom. Big move. Big move on this one. So yeah, chain swap, loving it right now. Good volume coming in. 2.64 million. About to break 10,000 holders as well. So all gravy, baby. Mike, did you see Panic is actually pumping? The Grand posted it earlier. No, it's not. Panic swap. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing, bro. Pa I just bought Panic and it was like a, some sort of horrible rug pull. I don't even know what it was. I don't even know where it is. It's on the Ethereum network. It's probably gone. Probably been deleted. Probably been deleted. Soul Glow token is going to send. Now, where have I seen Soul Glow token before? Have you guys been tagging Daniel Gaten or something in it? I kind of feel like you you guys did something with, with Daniel. Soul Glow token. What's it called? What's the ticker for it? Glow, G-L-O. Am I missing something? Someone, Tim, can, can someone put the wallet address, the contract address in? Um... I, I don't know if I'm just doing something daft here. Anyway. Um, I was never gonna buy I never gonna buy attention as return. Let's go, JR. Joyce, he's launching it in the summer. Yeah, join the join the Marbits Telegram for sure. For all the new listeners, please join the Telegram Marbits. Yeah, that's gonna be a token we're launching in the summer. Pretty excited about that as well. Pretty excited about it. Uh 73 likes, 103 watching. Yeah, hit the like button, everybody. Just help out, remember. Does help out. The funny thing is, it's actually going up. I won't mention it again. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I can't find... Somebody needs to put me the contract address for Glow because I can't see it otherwise. Soul Glow hasn't launched yet. Oh, okay. How the hell am I going to look at a the chart then? What? Crypto Bandito. How am I meant to... How am I meant to look at that if it's not even launched yet? What the hell, bro? What the hell? Nico to the moon. Yeah, that's been pumping, hasn't it? I kind of feel like that's been absolutely sending right now. Yeah, 40%. Jesus. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, it actually did it did break out. Nearly broke a zero. That's a that is a hell of a move on on uh Nico. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys for sure. Gotta love autocorrect. Yeah, gotta watch out for that autocorrect style. 
Um, how is everyone enjoying their ill-gotten gains? Shaky Gaming Studio. What's going on, pal? Just a man says, what's up, DJs? What's going on, pal? Welcome to you. Again, if you're brand new to the channel, by the way, don't forget to hit the like button. We do appreciate you guys always. Thank you so much, Jay Burns. It. See, Jay Burns it knows what's up. Jay Burns it knows what's up. Again, if you want to take a look at the chart, now is the time to stick it in there. Who We were going to have a look at another one. I said we'd have a look at it at the end of the... I don't remember what it was. Can't remember what it was, but if you do want your chart looking at, anyway, shout me in the chat and we will endeavor to bring that chart up. If you're a part of a project, whatever, you know, hit me up. You project your launch a few days ago. Uh, Biblical Truth. B-T-R-U. I'm up about 30% and gaining. Let's go, Doug. Love it. B-T-R-U. There we go. 8.5%. 1.8. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's a sender right now. Wow. Wow. 50K volume. Only 300 holders, though. So, I mean, definitely still early stages. Definitely still early stages, interestingly. It's still moving a little bit. Could definitely do with some volume, though. Volume is your friend in this market. But yeah, shout out to you, man. If you got into that on a nice player, let's get it. Let's get it. Do, 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 do. To reject your TG. Uh, we're, we're above what I believe we should be making each day. So that's a bonus. Just hit another block. That's 10 in 23 hours. Let's go. So just for complete, I don't know if you want to take this one on. Um, Crypto J. So we have switched. Have we switched both miners over? I can't remember if we switched both miners over. So we have we've switched definitely some of the miners over. Um, just for the short term. So we're not mining Casper. We are now mining a new coin uh that's gonna be coming out called Bugna. So yeah, both miners are on Bugner. So we're going to see it's going to be launching on Pancake Swap. We're trying to stack the bags. We've hit, how many blocks have we hit? We've hit 10 blocks. So our total balance is what now? What is our total balance? Crypto Jet. Uh, if it hits one cent, we will have what a grand currently. Let's go. 19800. So yeah, so we are currently mining bugger uh see what happens like who knows try and get in there early and see what happens that's my view see morally says xrp please looking for a short at the 0.6380 that's way a little bit nearer so uh what do you think of oh yeah robert brazio i have no idea but let's take a look at it oh yeah uh which one is it that's the question three days ago is it this one no that's got no liquidity so it can't be that which one is it Oh, yeah. Oh, is it this one? The Kool-Aid guy. <laughs> That's a great meme. Love it. Uh, 258k market cap, under 1,000 holders. It. I don't know. Is it going to reverse to break all-time highs on the daily? Don't know about, don't know about it. I don't know if, if I'm honest. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, se Mr. T, send me it in. Um, send me it. Oh, hold on. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. It's fine. Here we go. I'm going to link it. So the alien form. Uh, oh, no, no. Send me it. Send me it on. Um, send me on TG and I'll put it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat. My dad always said when one door shuts, another one opens. He never could sell. He never could sell the ladder. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm also hearing a lot of hype about uh, about the Soul Glow stealth launch coming soon. Yeah, I don't. I, I've literally seen one thing, which I think was some sort of video that, that had Daniel in it. That's all I've seen. All I've seen, so I don't, I don't know anything about it to be honest. DMs are open though, baby. You know it is. Did you see the epic launch of Kitty yesterday on Sol? Ran to a twenty-five million market cap in like six hours, then corrected hard. That's the risk at the minute with with coins that seem to explode. They tend to uh, dump as well, uh, so it's always a bit of a risk, isn't it? DJ and Boss, Robert Moon, what's going on, pal? Good to see you. Good to see you as always. Uh, Volatile Crypto says, "What about Ponke?" Have a look at Punk here. Um, ah, Belter. Right, got it. Got it. The uh, Alien Form. Ah, there we go. Look. Boom. Share. Copy link. Coming in hot. If you're interested in the Alien Form Intergalactic with Alien Form, your next 1000X utility about to drop. Uh, click on the link. Head on over there. Set your reminder. Listen to Mr. T and the gang over at Alien Form. Check it out. There's a link in the chat for sure. Have a look. Yeah, got it, my man. Thank you so much. Uh, just let your soul glow two bit. Okay, Tim, I'm down. 
I'm down. Ponke, we're going to have a look at that. What we? Ponke. 30 million dollar market cap the trouble you've got with some of these is they either come back or they don't i mean it could do it could do i, I haven't looked at the myro chart we, well, let's take a look at that next but yeah i mean what's it doing in volume 1.6 million so yeah it's got good volume uh holders at thirty thousand. so it's got a strong community that sits behind it what's myro doing so i've invested in myro i think myro could come back yeah so see myro's making a run now could do i guess what what narrative has changed in which it then reverses and pushes that's the that's the debate isn't it what's it got behind it what are the team pushing i'm not saying it can't do it's got good volume it's it's you know how it gets there so homes don't have any just throwing it out there myro sent the last couple of days yeah yeah i'm actually up now on my myro play which is good news fit baby here i'll put you in a timeout <laughs> hunter coming in fresh because he's a moderator get it hunter it's from the movie Coming to America with Eddie Murphy 2-bit. Uh, I like Coming to America. It's, I haven't seen that movie for ages, but yeah, it's a pretty good film. Pretty good film. Anyway, if you do have any questions, by the way, please feel free to ask them in the chat. Also, if you haven't already, do hit the like button. I would appreciate it if you guys could. Remember, nothing is paid for. There's no memberships, Patreons, or any kind of weird call groups you've got to join. It's just straight up me, you, me and you against the world. That's how it is. Jokey, what's going on, Mal? Welcome to you. Just let your soul shine through. Kind of sounds like an Ace of Base song, I'm going to lie. Love, shine a light in every corner of the world. Let the soul shine through. Let the soul, <laughs> soul glow shine through. Um, to be after a chat in the garage and careful consideration, Fit Babe has made it clear that if I put her in time out, I'll be sleeping on the couch. <laughs> oh, dear me. Get him. The ATH on Sora XQR is shocking compared to current price. Bro, when it hits 1% of the ATH, I will retire. Sora XOR has a ton of updates coming. Nice, Doug. I like it. Volatile Crypto says, I threw 7K into Myro when it was at 60 million market cap. I'm waiting for that pump. Look at that now. 60, 120, 240. Well, you're 6X up on 7K. What's that? 42 grand? Not bad that. I think I would definitely take 20k out of there if I'm just on it. If I'm honest, I would absolutely bank 20k. Move on. Um, but that's me. That's what I would do. But yeah, fair play to you. I love it when people print big money like it's ace, isn't it? It's dead good. Dead good. Dead good. Hunter, you'll ask for a spot when you're lifting, then she'll get... <laughs> Gotta be careful. I always find just... I'm not being sexist in any way, shape or form. It's just easier to do what you're told to do. So let me give you an example, right? 4 a.m. I went to bed this morning because I was super late. Tons of stuff to do. Had a couple of calls to do. A couple of videos I had to get done. So 4 a.m. I went to bed. I woke up. The dog woke me up about 8. My missus phones. My mum on the phone to her, like, doing FaceTime. And she literally was like, oh, good to see you clean the house while I'm away. And I'm like, what do you mean? I've been at work. And, you know, I bet you've been doing your live streams every night. I bet you did one last night. Well, I have. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. So I literally, I've, I've cleaned every... There isn't a sock in this house that's not dirty. I've stripped all the beds, cleaned all the beds, washed every pan, washed every pot, mopped the floor. Literally, that house is sparkling. Other than this office where I am, which is an absolute shithole, um, the house is sparkling. Simon says, can you check on Voxes? I have no idea what that is. And he plays like four characters in coming out. Yeah, do, yeah, just same as, um, same as uh, Beverly Hills Cop as well, isn't it? Voxies, V-O-X-I-E-S. Uh, is it a coin market cap one? Voxies, Voxies, Voxel. Seven uh, percent up on the day. Eleven point four million dollars. Oh, it's on Binance. Interesting. Binance get oh, man. That's kind of crazy. Um, I mean, it's eighty-two percent down. If this is the one that you're talking about. I, I, if it's got something big coming out, then fair play. But I don't know anything about it, to be honest. So I couldn't really pass comment. But that is not something I would invest in right now, I don't think. Unless I was like, unless I knew something was coming, by the way. And I generally don't. So, wait, your Mrs. Moans about you not, about you doing. No, no, no. She, only because I haven't, I didn't clean the house. But in mind, we have a cleaner, by the way. But um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't clear some of the stuff away. So I got shouted at. Jasmine up 3%. Yeah, look at Jasmine on that support line looking to break out. I don't even look at Jupiter. It's just going to annoy me. God, 10% still. What the hell? What the hell? 
She has got all three kids by herself as well, in fairness. I'm literally just here hanging out with you guys. Just here hanging out with you guys. $103 BSV. Yeah, that like, killing it. Dual game GPT top coin and project. Dual game. Never heard of it. Dual game GPT. Look at this. 10 million volume. What's this on? Bybit. Gate.io. Bing X. Two bit. <laughs> I need to use this exchange. I need to email them don't I, and go, hey, two bit exchange. Do you want to do some partnering up with me? Two bit. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, two bit, to be fair, Holmes has said, even he asks you to put away the Speedos and the Manthongs. Yeah, they, uh, they're bright pink as well, which is always a bit weird. I'm late, but I had a big family lunch and had to drop some Twitter info. What's up, people? What's going on, Mr. Mabry? Good to see you, pal. Always good to have you here, actually. <laughs> Fair ground. Get the hell out of here. No offense. That's like hanging out with a thousand kids. You definitely got it harder. Yeah, true. True. If it means I've just got to clean the house a little bit to not have all three of my own kids happy days. You know what I mean? <laughs> so hanging around with you guys. I'm down for that. I, I spent last night. I mean, last night was wild. Those, those telephone streams are wild. I don't know where everyone comes from. They've done like 7,000 views off both of those streams combined. They're just absolutely ridiculous. That, I mean, it, it is absolutely insane. Just some of the people come in and the comments that come out, you just think, oh my God, what is this? But it's funny at the same time. I kind of love it in fairness. I kind of love it. Let's have a look at BTC, 70,000, Interesting. Michael, maybe what's your view? Where do you see the market going this week? I was talking about the Fibonacci extension. We might see... A $84,000 BTC pretty soon. That's my view. That's my view. But what's going on, Michael Mayberry? Good to see you, pal. Always. Selmo says, Soul Glow Stealth launch coming soon. Why is everyone like, why is, what is going on with the Soul Glow thing? Why is it such a, why is it such a thing? What is it? Soul Glow. Soul Glow token. Followed by one of the Crypto Hunter and Daniel Gay and Don't Fade Glow. So, oh, I see. Okay, that is actually coming to America. I see. I see. Soul Glow. Okay. Do 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 the only thing I don't understand is, how come I'm not on any of these videos? I don't understand why people don't put me on videos. Maybe they think I'm a bit too serious. Maybe they're like, oh, probably just, you know, two bits a bit serious. Like, probably need to just chill out. And Yeah, fair play to you guys. See what happens. See what happens. Birik says, happy Easter to all. Enjoy and family. Okay, see you later, Birik. Good to see you, man. In, out, shake it all about. Boom. I think mid-April we will see some good movement. Mid-April, Bitcoin halving, baby. Bitcoin halving. Bum, bum, bum. Sounds like a kitchen sink lime scale remover. <laughs> Bang, and the dirt is gone. Who remembers that? Who remembers that? Uh, New Crypto says, chain swap, getting ready for next leg up. Yeah, I think so, New Crypto. I'm excited. Did you get in? Uh, did you get in after watching my video? Man, chain swap looking bullish, bro. Looking good. It's retested uh, a 10 cents quite a bit in fairness. But yeah, look at that. Look at that chart, mate. Look at that chart. I feel appreciated. Always, Mr. Mabry. Always. Always. Bullish, baby. Bullish. Bullish, baby. Silly bang. Bang. And the dirt is gone. Hi, I'm Barry Scott. Get out of here, Barry Scott. Two bit. I'm on the edge about BTC next move. Ascending triangle, but we are overextended like crazy. We are only at the mid cycle. So I believe we are going to get liquidations up, then down till the summer. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Kind of feel the same way. The, the question is how high we go. That's the debate, isn't it? How high we go on BTC. Yeah, mate. Got in just under a penny. Let's go. New crypto. Boom. Shaka like a. Got just under a penny, baby. Yeah, same as me. Same as me. I took some profits the last time we were up here. I did take some profits out of here. But yes, you must have got in. Yeah, you got in basically um, 
basically when I put my video out. So yeah, shout out to you. Do your own research. Check it out. Get involved. Bang. Print a 10x. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I'm excited about these two private sales. I, 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 and I, I, I do generally sound like I'm flexing. And, I, and I, I promise I'm not trying to flex. But yeah, I think these private sales could be pretty interesting. Because if they work out, then uh, it opens up a whole new dream doorway uh, to start messing around with uh, some private sales, which would be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm excited about these. Excited about these. Uh, what I would say is there are lots of new coins coming out, lots of new tokens. You'll definitely see lots more promotional stuff on the channel. Um, so I always recommend doing your own research. Generally speaking, though, you can kind of tell if it's just a flash in the pan video, it's just a promotional video, whereas ones that are a bit longer game. So Chainswap, I'm partnered up with them now for the next month or two. Likewise with Alien Form, I'm partnered up with, partnered up with them for the next month. So, you know, keep an eye on those for sure. For sure. Just had a buy trigger on cast. Nasty red that instantly flipped green. Ooh. Yeah, still up 3% on the day, though. Definitely market is definitely cooling a little bit. Do you know what's not cooling? Oh, Jupiter is cooling. Oh, my God. It's still, it's still at 163. I mean, it's like the most ridiculous price point in the world. I'm definitely not going to buy it. I definitely am not going to buy it. CTF token. Don't forget, it's more of an institutional token, to be honest. It was doing very well, in fairness. It has been doing pretty well. It, it's it's very much uh if you buy on the matic chain it what i would say is the team have been pretty good with me I, i've had no dramas with them whatsoever they've got some pretty big people in the space that are partnered up with them it's very much more aligned to institutions as opposed to retail the reality is you retail you're making it off the chart is my view i don't necessarily think it's a bad play i think again we talked about it down here somewhere i think it was like 30 two cents or something when i talked about it first so it would have been a nice move but yeah i mean i can only tell you what i can tell you which is the team have been pretty good they've uh i said pretty good they've been excellent in fairness and uh i had a couple of questions from a few people that reached out to me on twitter i fired them over to the team they answered them straight away um you know but don't forget the liquidity is relatively low on the matic chain so volatility is pretty high on this project so do just be mindful of uh do be mindful of that if you are thinking of getting into it What's going on, Tony P? Good to see you, man. Mangabri says it will only take a 74k BTC to form strong bearish divergence, but that short squeeze can get us up to the parabolic spike before down. Please no. Listen, be careful. Take profits, yeah, 100%. We're in KP3R. Nice. Jay Burns, I've been following since launch. You haven't got in. Hello. What's going on, Tony P? So basically, we could go up fast and dump for months. Yeah. Yeah, we saw that in the last bear market where, you you know, we went like two months of just flat bearish movements. The important thing right now is, like we talked about earlier, this consolidation above the 60,000 level is showing us some real support at the new higher price target, which is good news. Which is good news if you ask me. Uh, BSV's at 104, by the way. Cool cat. Looking bullish as ever. What up, the JR? I got your pregame message, I think. What did I miss? Ghost, what do you mean? What did you miss? You missed the whole show, bro. What the hell, Ghost? What the hell? I just typed Ghost769 as well. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, it's fine. Did miss my thing. Yeah, OBJ, look, coming in fresh. Thinks his ass. Tooch is here as well. What's going on, Tooch? Why are you all coming in now? We're on the new tar. Okay, fine. I'll let you off then. I'll let you off, Ghost. Don't worry about it. Enjoy. I actually do have two beers in the fridge. Might treat myself to one of them. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Cool Cut said it was going to go back over 100 a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Back over 100. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I think it'll be interesting early hours of the morning to see what Bitcoin does. And it's a Bitcoin then. See what that does. Um, along with the rest of the market. I mean, Ethereum's looking pretty good at 36.31. That's 3.5%. 4% on Luna Classic. That's a nice little move as well. So, yeah, a couple of good players out there right now. A couple of market moves, which are good. A couple of market moves, which are very good, actually. 164 on Jupe is just depressing. So depressing. Hit my life right now. Ghost beer day tomorrow for us. Nice. There may be time when you tell us uh, all in the TG, you know. Now, yeah. <laughs> Chili's is up. Yeah, Chili's is up 2.5%. Making it happen. Go, Chilies. 
Shout out to all those holding chilies right now. To me, what's your Discord discount code on Mexi? Discount code? I've got the, the register code at the top, look. Click at the top of the chat box. You've got a Mexi register invite code there that's going to get you some bonuses and some discounts. Check it out. Also, Marjax, you're going to get a bonus, $50 for signing up. So, yeah, just in the description and at the top of the chat box, uh, you can click on those. So, Sweatcoin is up 16%. Holding it. Sweatcoin. Sweatcoin. Never, never even. Have I heard of that? Sweatcoin. It's not that one, is it? Is it just called Sweat, I think? Is it this one? Up 17%. Yeah. I mean, it's not the worst coin in the world, is it? Um, Obi, you have a better chance of seeing... <laughs> Echabellus has just got here too. Come on, people. We're back to the usual time, 4 p.m. Eastern. Our clocks are now back and our clocks are now normal. Michael Mabry. Have you got anything on your YouTube channel, Michael Mabry? Just out of interest. Look at Michael Mabry, look at him. Why is there nothing on your YouTube channel, Michael Mabry? Look at it. Nothing here. Come on, bro. Sort your life out. Sort your life out. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing then. What am I, what am I trying to click on here? I'm trying to multitask, baby. And it's never that easy. It's never easy to multitask. Uh, that's what I wanted to go to. The chat's gone quiet, no one's saying anything. What is going on? What's going on, chat? I feel like a Twitch streamer then. It feels like everything... Is, is it because... Uh, it does this every now and then. It does this every now and then. Chat hasn't stopped. It's just my chat box has stopped. What the heck is that about? What the heck is that about? To be working on it, got to start a liquid YouTube now. like it. Like it. Back maybe when AMA on two bit show. There. At least it wasn't just me who forgot about my clocks. Yeah, it's fine. Gotta be careful. Uh I just got him from Mexi. I have until June thirtieth to KYC. Oh no. Do -do. Things got going order, but very soon let's go with Michael maybe. I'm down. I'm down. Six ETH. It's all yours. April Fool's tomorrow? Yeah. God. I'm not a big fan of April Fool's. I'm not going to lie. Who timed out Fit Babe? Hunter is on the couch for a few weeks. Did someone really do that? No way, bros. No way. I can't use Mexi and Oz. Ah, oh, no. That's not what you need, is it? That is not what you need. Before launch would make sense, Michael, in my opinion. Yeah, true. That would. That would absolutely make sense. Anyway. Uh, nothing says summer is coming, like an announcement from the police. That they're heading off to Portugal for a few weeks to search a new location. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Right, it feels like it's time to finish off the race. Finish off the evening. I think I'll put most people in. We got a few more in this time. 66 people ready to rock and roll down the track. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Let's drop it like it's hot. Boom, 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 boom. CryptoJ says, you got me, bro? Yeah, of course I have. Of course I have Crypto J. Dee 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 dee. 
Uh, Nord VPN plus Maxi go together like PB and J. <laughs> Just checking after the other day. Yeah, now I got you. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Man, it's already midnight, April Fool. According to you, Craig, it's nine o'clock, isn't it? You're still waiting for the show to start. The Grand says he's claiming this race. It's getting the Grand. It's a bit longer than what we expected. It's a bit longer than what we expected, but get bullish, baby. Crypto Bandido is making it move. Chris B's in there as well. Yeah, we change messages the dog's routine up. Yeah, the, that, my dog's been all over the place, in fairness. She woke me up this morning. I pity the crazy April Fool. OB Joe looks like he might be taking a win. Boom. Gets in. Look at that. OB Joe taking a big win. George, Chris, NBF. Akimela Hobbs, Ali G, Ugo Fairground, all rounding off the turn. Two bit look at T Fuel. Six month chat will wake you up. Stop yawning. <laughs> Remind me, T Fuel. T Fuel. If it's on here, I'll take a look at it. If it's not, then I'm not interested. T Fuel from the Theta Wars. What the hell? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. But yeah, BTC setting up for 71,000. Could be good news. Dupe is pulling back a little bit. Keep going down, Dupe. We want to get in a position and have a look and see what's going on. With that being said, let's take a look at the leaderboard and see where everybody is and see how it all plays out. In three, two, one, boom, Pokeball! Cooch is up there as well. Get it, Cooch. Obi Joe moves into third place. Vern, Viva, Tim, 37 to Marpy, Crypto J, Fairground, Justin, Kevin, Ghost, Swamp, MBF. Rounding out your top 15. So there we go. Our action packed evening across the show, as ever. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Looking at 71,000, strap in. It could be a very, very bullish week for anyone in cryptocurrency. Look out for some of those DeFi players that look even better as well. But we're here for it. We'll be back, as always, tomorrow night, 4 p.m. Eastern, back to the usual time slot. But until then, don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. And until tomorrow, it's time for some funky music. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>